Check this out. This is a great workout for gains, especially if it's different from what you're doing now. So check this out. Use half the weight you normally use. Use half the intensity you normally use, but double the volume of your workout. In other words, if you do three sets for a body part, do six sets. If it's 10 sets, do 20 sets. But with half weight, half intensity, focus on the volume, the pump, the technique, and the form. It's very different and uh, always produces great results when it's novel. GVT. Ooh, they're higher intensity. Mm -hmm. Oh, I yeah. so I, I think that's the mistake that you make when you do when you do. Well, I guess you, I guess you're right. Towards the end, it gets higher. Yeah, intensity. I yeah. mean yeah. that. So uh, every time I so I do it similar, right? So and uh, I'll interrupt my training, and I'm like, you know what? When's the last time I just did you know ten sets of bench, or yeah. you know, like I'll and I'll do that. And every time I do that. I base the weight off of like my standard, you know, sets of four or five, my strength and think, well, if I take about 25 or 30% off of that, I should be good. Nope. And, and, you know, the first three sets is yeah. easy breezy, but by sets four, five, six, like I'm cutting away. Cut. Oh, that. I, oh, I'm always off. I remember the last time I did that for bench, I had 35s on by the end of the, wow. yeah, I was so depressed. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah. And you but, feel all sore as hell. But, you know, know I, so I like that you're presenting it this way for the audience because you, th that's a better approach. It, like you just, okay, I bench 225 when I work out, let's say, in my 5x5 five five type routine. Okay, I'm going to go in there and put, you know, 135 yep. or less. Yeah, so I call this the half, the, the half, half double uh, <clears throat> routine, right? And so I did it today, right? I went to the gym. I had a good amount of time. I was able to get up early. Everything was fine this morning. Baby stayed in bed, whatever. So I went to the gym and I, I cut all the weight in half. I cut my intensity way down. So the focus is just on the muscle and the movement. And then I doubled the volume. I did twice as much volume as I normally do. And it, it's, it was different because that's not how I've been training. So I got a crazy pump. Yeah. I felt really good. It's, it's a lot of fun to change it up. Swell up like a balloon. Yeah, totally. Yeah. And you do this uh, occasionally. Um, by the way, you could go in the opposite, right? You could take your workout double the, you know, the, or go heavy, double the intensity and cut the volume in half. Uh, this, yeah. this formula works in the opposite uh, direction as well. And when it's novel, that's the important thing here, by the way, when it's something that you're not currently doing, this is when you really start to reap the benefits. And lately I've been training with low volume, heavy weight, you know, longer rest periods type of deal. So I went in today, did this totally different and I could feel it. You know, I've been working out long enough to know that I could feel that this was uh this was going to, you know, cause some changes, some positive changes. Oh, it yeah. feels good. That one's for me is it, it's like the, the ultimate kind of, uh, 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 what do you call it? Where it just like shakes everything up. And oh just yeah. Like destroys you. Like yeah, it, plateau buster. Yeah. Cause it's for me, it's like such a, uh, you know, dynamic shift from what I always tend to do, which is just, you know, one to five rep range and like focus on heavy, heavy lifting and to get that kind of like rep count up and then the weight drop and all that, dude. dude Whew. When's the last time you did? Brutal. When's the last time you did like a bodybuilding workout, like full bodybuilding? Not like oh, I did one, you know, set of curls. Like he does it more. It's <laughs> probably like the last challenge, like we had, you know, really the four of us. See, he I never feel, does. I don't do it, dude. Like I, I mean, unless it's just that I, 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 I want to get. A, I catch you doing some stuff in there. Yeah, know? but those are like trigger sessions. It's, uh, it's not like okay, uh, you, you full on. Okay. I can't. Against, I can't claim it, I've been doing. It like, goes against his like core, bro. To like <laughs> to train for aesthetics. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, oh, he hates himself after. Because then I start looking at the mirror, and I'm like, who am I? You know. Like, it just gets away from me real quick. <laughs> it gets away from you? Yeah. Yeah. I'm just damn. like, God damn, He's like, I look damn, good. I'm, ah, stop it. I'm so hot. Oh, yeah. it happened again. Exactly. Uh, but really, it's been it's been that long, huh? It has. Yeah, I know. I, I'm due for it. So this, this is something that's been on my mind. Uh, you bringing that up, it's funny because like I'm, I've been like teasing with the idea of like going more hypertrophy for a while and doing a phase at least for a couple months or so. Yeah. Do you have to change the music if you do something like that? Yeah. Yo, yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, if I go like my normal metal and heavy and yeah, I, I will just get too aggressive. And again, I'll miscalculate the hell out of the weight load yeah. and then destroy what's myself. Your, so I have your, to calm down. What's your bodybuilding playlist <laughs> sound like? Let's we know see. what Sal's is. Yeah. Because you know? I know you lean a little more to like hip hop or something, right? Yeah. If, your I'm helps, if I'm not, if I'm not trying to, if I, I had to scale intensity back, it's hip hop. Because rock, rock is, I'm like, we're all the same when it comes to like, this is where I like heavy metal. Like if I'm going after it, it's yeah. heavy deadlifting or I'm, I'm pushing limits for sure. 
heavy metal rock. And I would say yeah, but the heaviest you go with uh, not weight, but with the music, Rage, like, Tool. Yeah, that's, that's about as deep as you go. Yeah, the, maybe a little bit of Pantera every once in a while. Um, maybe some. Dude, they're touring what a, with Metallica. Uh, Deftones. Yes. I'll go Deftones. Um, but I, you guys, you guys Chevelle. like Chevelle. I love. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Those are all. Those are all on my playlist, yeah. right? But. Uh, yeah, I don't go too crap, but I I even listen to that too. Like, like so, like Tool for me is a nice mm. kind of cruise train hard. Yeah. But I don't like. I'm not ang like Rage is like angry. I got. I want to get after Pantera's yeah. angry. I want to get after it. Hip hop is like. I don't. I'm trying to avoid any level of intensity. <laughs> it's yeah. like I'm just kind of going through just the cruising, movements. I'm pumping. Yeah, I'm pumping. I'm doing mobility. Like yeah. I'm not I, a big hip hop guy. During. I listen to hip hop mainly for uh, if we're presenting or we're doing anything that like yeah. I'm in front of people because yeah. I don't know. It's like this ego pump. You it know? Makes you feel cool. Yeah, you're just like yeah, dude. I'm, no, it does. I, I mean, that's why I played ass. it in here the other day when we had the live I, event. Yeah. That puts me in the mood like that too. Yeah. I like yeah. that. If I go, if I'm going heavy-ish, then it's uh, what you, it's your playlist. Same thing. Rage Against oh. Machine, Tool, Chevelle, um, See, that's Rob like Zombie light for me. Rob yeah, that's Zombie, real light for you. It, 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 well, when I'm go when I now when I go and I want to go as heavy as I can and mm -hmm. I want to try and hit PRs and go nuts and throw caution to the wind, then it's fast, it's evil, it's crazy <laughs> shit. It's Sepultura yeah. and the like. That's it's, a good one. Yeah, it's stuff like that where you almost can't make out what's going on in the song. You just hear <laughs> yelling and shit, and it just makes me angry. I love it though. But when I'm doing like bodybuilding workout, uh -huh. it's uh, EDM. Oh, EDM yeah, is your dude. Move. It's okay. it's like it's like rave music. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm still a little bit more in the rock genre. Like I'll go more like Royal Blood or or uh, um, uh, you know, I guess I'm trying to think of the other name of some of these like kind of newer bands, but like like Led Zeppelin and um, like I'll do some classic rock, I guess, like in that vein. But dude, like, dude, yeah, I'd, yeah, I can't go like too soft. I had to work out to like top 40 the other day because I had my headphones and I, you know, put them on and then it makes that sound. Doo, 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 doo. I'm like, oh, it's going to die. Uh -oh. My headphones are going to die. Top 40? What's that? What do you That's mean? what the gym plays. Oh, because you were in the gym. Yeah, it was in the gym, uh, dude. Uh, so I was like, oh, it was a long time since I'd worked on out. there? Like Lil Nas and It's just uh, trash. Whatever yeah. top 40, you know, trash. shit is. Like to Taylor Swift. The gym, and, like a commercial gym's trash. The only way you get good music in a, in a is a dungeon type gym. You might get uh, some. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you might get some good, yeah. good See, music. See, when I used to, so, when I, so back in the Which day. Which is understandable, right? You're in a commercial gym. You have to appeal to like the general audience. Like you're, you don't want like, you know, the 60-year-old grandma walks in and it's like. <laughs> do, 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 yeah, do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, come on over here. Let's check out this elliptical. <laughs> oh, did I ever tell you guys? Did I ever tell you guys one time, dude? This is great for your knees. You just reminded me of a hilarious <laughs> Black memory. Black murder. I not when, like for everybody. When yeah. I had my wellness studio, I used to work out in the middle of the day sometimes, and it would be no one else in there. It'd be just me, sometimes yeah, a trainer, but no yeah. clients. Mm -hmm. And I would kind of turn the lights down because I liked it kind of dark. And I and if I was going to go heavy, I would do crazy metal or whatever. And I I remember this was towards the end of my workout, and I I was at this point I was trying to build my neck up. I was trying to, I was like, for fun. I was like, let's see if I get my neck strong. <laughs> so I had this neck, I had this neck harness on with chains coming out down the sides. Yeah, we're so similar yet so different. So we went. I know. <laughs> totally different. So you had one of those head chain yeah. You know you would do that. I've done neck training for yeah, sure, but it yeah. wasn't like a goal. No, it wasn't. He's all just built it on accident. I've, <laughs> no. I'm a beast. Well, he has a little more application when he's playing yeah, football. Yeah, when I was playing stuff. football. Yeah, yeah, yeah makes better. Sense. Yeah. Actually, wearing a helmet will build the shit yeah. out of your yeah. neck. You put on a football helmet for for you know an hour i yeah. mean it'll mess yeah. you up anyway yeah. so i had the head head harness on so remember it's like leather straps right when are you here. wearing a helmet for an Chains, hour by the way huh when would you be i played him? football for us just like you i, I tried it out oh, I didn't know and that. i fucking hated what? it yeah i don't think you've ever Why have you never told me that? i did tell you guys no, no. you haven't bro i signed up because i i this I, I did not know this i swear I thought oh, he's never said this has he said this what no news to me i did he did you know he's He's got the thumbs yeah, up. Yeah, he's definitely brought it up. You so. knew? Really? Yeah, I think Dude. if I remember. I did. Really? I'll let uh -huh. you tell the story. Mm. I yeah. did. So I tried out. Okay. Or not tried out. I, I, I mean, this was Pop Warner, right? So I signed up. I was probably 13, 13. maybe. Maybe 12, 13. And uh, I'm like, oh, this is going to be awesome. And they beat the shit out of us so bad. And the coaches were yelling. And I was like, <laughs> ready to throw up. Yep. And I remember being like, ah. 
I don't, I don't know, know if I want to you had the same experience as I, so I did. Wild. We've had a lot of real similar things like that. Very similar. Yeah, but anyway, so this, I, did not know that. I had the head harness on, leather straps, chains coming down. I had like three 25-pound plates on just hanging in between my legs. <laughs> okay. Crazy-ass heavy metal music. And I'm, oh, and then yeah. I kind of pulled my neck, so I stand up, and I had this metal hook-looking thing with the ball at the end that yeah. I would use to press on my traps. Oh, okay. So now I'm holding this metal hook with the ball at the end with the chains off my head also and this old lady walks in yeah. she opens the door and the metal evil evil and it's like raw, 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 and I got chains and I got this metal hook and I'm looking at her <laughs> she, hey this is what she did she went like this she went ooh and she oh, like, that was not for me that was it I was like no no I love training old never people came, yeah, never came back to this never lost the client like that it was uh, fucked up no. uh,